Hey, it's David Duford at DavidDuford.com where I help insurance agents like you become top producers. And specifically today, we're going to start the six-part series on the final expense sales presentation that you need to give to optimize your results in the home. So what we're going to start off with today, of course, is the first part of the sales process, which is the building rapport trust stage as well as giving a proper introductory statement. So let me go ahead and summarize really what this particular section is all about. When you build rapport and you establish trust, what you're essentially doing is selling yourself to the prospect. This is one of the most important stages of the sales presentation and you need to make sure that you think out exactly what it is you're going to talk about and apply it to how you're going to say all this to progress towards the ultimate goal of building enough trust and creating enough rapport to lower resistance, to lower sales resistance, to get to the point where you can begin to talk about what it is that you do and how it will benefit the prospect. So I think it's really important to understand that what you're going to do, and really ultimately your goal, is to break the ice. If I could summarize what rapport building is and how to establish trust, it starts with breaking the ice. And when we say break the ice, it doesn't mean we take a mallet, imagine a big steel hammer going down on a giant uh, ice cube, Gallagher style, like back in the old day with watermelons. Only you uh, old guys will remember that. <laughs> uh, we don't need to do that. We don't need to break the entire, shatter the entire thing of ice. We just need to break it. And breaking the ice is defined as basically making your prospect laugh. That's the best way you can pretty much predict that this person is safe to proceed with a sales call. And it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes doing that. You'll see physical representations that this has been done. You know, the, the, the arms are crossed, they relax a little bit. The shoulders are tense, they relax. They open, their eyes are wide, they're looking and making eye contact, they're leaning in, they're smiling, they're showing their teeth. Uh, those are all good signs that it's leading in the proper direction and should signal to you that you can proceed with the sales call. As far as trust is concerned, this isn't so much a phase in the sales call as it's something that you're adding to slowly and progressively or you're taking away. So everything that you say, every mannerism that you do, every piece of information that you share is either going to increase trust or to, to take away or detract from trust. So it's a process which we begin in the beginning, of course, but we continue on throughout the process, which in the forthcoming videos, you'll see how to continually build trust. Now, the other thing you got to do, of course, is making sure that you do and give a proper introductory statement. Essentially what this means, it is it sells who you are, why you're there, and what benefit you are to the prospect or to your future client. Essentially, an introductory statement sounds something like this. Hey, my name is David Duford. I'm a life insurance broker. This means that I represent a variety of different life insurance companies, and the benefit to you is that I shop around and help find you the best combination of price and value so you don't have to pay more than you have to for your life insurance statement. So this just tells them who you are, why it's important, and why they should do business with you in a somewhat specific way. The more that you give here and the more succinct, I should say, that you are with this, you're going to be telling the prospect through the statement where you stand. It's like putting your flag into the ground, declaring that this is your ground that you're standing on, and, and here's what makes it important. So it sets the table of where we're going to go in the sales call. It's like setting the agenda to an extent, and it allows you to crystallize in the mind of the prospect who you are, why you're there, and what benefit is to them. So I do hope that you enjoyed this presentation today on why your building trust and rapport matters, as well as your introductory statement. This is just a beginning uh, quick to the point analysis of the first part of the sales presentation for final expense. There's more to it. This is something that I train and teach insurance agents, whether they want to sell final expense or Medicare supplements, mortgage protection, or annuity. It's a very critical aspect of the phase. You can learn more about it by becoming either an agent or if you join my insurance agent inner circle program. You can find out more about both of those programs at daviddufour.com. You can click either link. You'll see it at the top, and it will give you a video overview of how each program works. You can also learn about rapport and introductory training in the book behind me, The Official Guide to Selling Final Expense Insurance. And uh, other than that, please subscribe, comment, like the video if you did, and subscribe. Did I say subscribe? Please subscribe. And uh, visit my website at daviddufour.com for more information. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Take care.